About three months ago, I changed up my skincare routine. Recently, you guys know I've shared my AM and my PM routine. And one of the things that I really did differently is I upped my chemical exfoliation. And what I have noticed from doing that is a really improved radiance to my skin and improved texture of my skin, just an overall clarity to my skin. It's really been a big difference just by kind of increasing the frequency of my chemical exfoliation. So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to share with you the different types of acids that you could choose. If you look in the mirror and you notice maybe maybe, you know, lackluster dullness. If you notice an uneven complexion, exfoliation may be something that you either need to incorporate into your skin or you need to up the frequency. It's definitely something that is just this underrated, super duper easy component of a skincare routine that does not have to be expensive. And like I said, so, so easy to do. I do it as an acid toner in the morning. It's in my AM routine, which is in the playlist that I will link down in the description box, but it's seriously the easiest step and it makes this huge, huge difference. So let's get into chemical exfoliation, the different acids and which one might be perfect for you to address your skincare concern. Now, first of all, let's talk about why we would do a chemical exfoliation. Number one, chemical exfoliation is going to give you an even exfoliation. So what it's doing is it's literally breaking the bonds between the dead skin cells so that they can lift off. Now we we naturally exfoliate all the time. We're always doing this. So there is an argument that it's like, why even bother exfoliating? We do it anyway. Well, as we get older, like everything, we slow down. We slow down our skin turnover. We slow down the generation of new skin. It all slows down. So to me, one of the things that we can do that can really improve our mature skin is amp up our exfoliation, period. It really can make a huge difference in the radiance of our skin. So which acid do we choose? That is probably the hardest question if you are not immersed in skincare like me is well, which one do I pick? Well, we're gonna talk about four today. Number one, we're gonna talk about glycolic acid. Now, I would say that glycolic acid is probably the big mamma jamma, the main anti-aging, uh, the acids, okay? It is a tiny little molecule. It is the most bang for your buck. It's gonna penetrate your skin faster and deeper than any of the other acids are going to do. It helps to do all of the things we just talked about. It's gonna improve texture. It's going to improve tone. It's gonna to lift off surface hyperpigmentation. It is going to reveal a fresher complexion and it can stimulate collagen. So glycolic acid is really a powerhouse when it comes to anti-aging. However, the caveat and the downside of glycolic acid is that it is also pretty potent and pretty harsh on the skin. So for a lot of people, glycolic acid is actually too harsh and too irritating to use. So if you have tried an acid toner and it was glycolic, and you really felt like your skin got dried out, it didn't improve your skin, it actually made your skin look worse, then that's not the right acid for you. You just need a different acid. You haven't found your home in an acid yet. That is my experience with glycolic acid. How much I wanted glycolic acid to be my acid because of that collagen stimulation, but as a normal to dry and dehydrated skin person, glycolic acid just isn't for me, but it might be for you. If you have mature skin and you are normal normal to combo, combo to oily, oily, glycolic acid could be your best friend and really be an anti-aging powerhouse exfoliant for you. Now, if you're looking for a good glycolic acid, there is one from Minimalist. This is an 8% glycolic acid. I love this brand. It is super duper affordable. You use this simply by putting it on a cotton pad and you use it just like a toner. And honestly, it's a great value for a glycolic acid toner. There's also the ordinary. I think there's is 7% glycolic acid. It's a great big bottle. Lots of people love it and it's very effective. So those are two super duper affordable glycolic acid options if you have the kind of skin that can tolerate the potency of glycolic acid. All right, so let's move on to my personal favorite alpha hydroxy acid and that is lactic acid. Now I've been using lactic acid for a really, really long time and 
The reason why I love it the most is because it's this great big molecule and it sits on your skin and slowly penetrates the skin. So it's definitely more gentle to the skin, less irritating to the skin. But the big plus of lactic acid, in my opinion, is that it is also a humectant. So while it's sitting there dissolving those bonds between the dead skin cells and revealing fresher skin and helping you to just look more radiant, helping your texture, all that stuff, it's also plumping up the skin with hydration. And if you are normal to dry, dry all the way over to ultra dry, then lactic acid is definitely the choice to try first. Because seriously, when I use my lactic acid toner in the morning, I not only see this quick radiance to my skin, I know that over time, I'm also working on the texture of my skin, the tone of my skin, I'm lifting off hyperpigmentation, and I'm hydrating that tissue right in that moment. Literally right after I use my acid toner, my skin already looks so much fresher and so much more hydrated, and I've just created the perfect canvas for the rest of my hydrating stuff that goes on after in the morning. It sets the stage for a great day of skincare, makeup, a good skin day. Now, the one that I use, you guys, and I share this in my AM routine, is the Biologique Recherche. This is the lotion P50 1970. It is not a lotion, it's a toner. I know they call it lotion, but basically it's lactic acid based and I love it. I've been using it for a long time, but recently, like I said, I've increased my frequency of how often I use it. Now I will say that if you decide that you want to do that, you know, go slow. Don't immediately go to seven days a week. I really kind of increase slowly over time. I probably use this five to seven days a week now. It really depends on my skin. Sometimes I am like, you know, my skin might just need a little bit more of a break today. It happens. So you gotta listen to your skin. But lactic is definitely the choice if you have normal or normal to dry in the dry spectrum. Lactic is the one that I would choose for you. Okay, so next let's talk about polyhydroxy acids. So polyhydroxy acids are a different type of acid and basically they are gluconolactone or lactobionic acid and they're super duper gentle again a great big molecule that sits and penetrates the skin more slowly so it's not irritating to the skin at all and it does the same thing it's going to break up those bonds between the dead skin cells so you're still getting all of that exfoliation for texture and radiance and all that good stuff but polyhydroxy acids are even more gentle than lactic acid and they don't make you sensitive to the sun. So if you are somebody who is uber sensitive, if you have rosacea, if you are like, you know what, I'm afraid to ever try any kind of acid exfoliation, I would tell you if you want to, then it would be polyhydroxy acids that I would recommend trying. Now, the thing about them not making you sensitive to the sun is that that is special to polyhydroxy acids. Every other acid that we're talking about today does actually make you a little bit more sensitive to the sun so you have to be vigilant with your SPF but I would say if you are uber sensitive if you want to dip your toe in to acids and acid toners then it is definitely polyhydroxy acids that are the choice now another one that is super duper gentle is mandelic acid now mandelic acid is really interesting because it's a large molecule so it's more gentle than glycolic and it's like lactic it's going to be gentle but it's antimicrobial so mandelic acid is going to be great if you have acne and you also want to go gentle. So you're trying to not, you know, you don't want to irritate your skin, you're trying to be gentle to your skin, and you don't want to dry out your skin, Mandelic is the way to go. Mandelic can also help with brightening the skin. It's obviously a good exfoliant for texture, and it's just really a gentle alpha hydroxy acid that is also great for acne and hyperpigmentation. So that's Mandelic. Now, a good choice for Mandelic is going to be the Paula's Choice. This is the Mandelic 6%, 2% lactic acid. This is pretty new to me. I bought this because I'm really, really interested in mandelic acid right now because I know that it's very good for hyperpigmentation and it's very gentle, but I love my lactic so much in my P50 that I can't imagine giving up that hydration, that humectant. So when I saw that Paula's Choice has one that is mandelic and it has a little bit of that lactic in there, so it's gonna hydrate the skin and hopefully work a little bit more on my hyperpigmentation. This was one that I really was excited to try. I will report back on this one, but 
at first glance and just my initial thoughts on it are that this is an excellent option. Now there's other lactic acids. I will definitely link some options in the description box down below. But the last one we're gonna talk about is salicylic acid. Now this is a different one. This is a beta hydroxy acid. And this is for any of you out there who have acne or if you have blackheads and congestion, salicylic acid is the one that you want to try. Now the deal with salicylic acid is it's oil loving. So unlike all of the others that are water soluble, salicylic acid is oil soluble. So you put it on the surface of your skin and it actually is able to dip down into the pore and do do something called desincrustation. Now desincrustation, think of disincrust, right? It is like a Pac-Man and can eat at the sebum that lines the pore and then the stuff that's in the pore, the dirt and debris and whatnot that got stuck there in the form of a blackhead is able to be dislodged and come out just when you do simple things like washing your skin. So salicylic acid is really, really, really good for people with normal to combo, combo to oily, oily skin because it loves oil. Now it's anti-inflammatory. So it's also really good for acne. It's going to help to literally go surround a pustule or get into a blackhead and help to alleviate it by virtue of its oil loving properties, but also because it is anti-inflammatory, it's gonna calm redness and swelling. All the way around, the perfect pick if you have any kind of troubled skin when it comes to acne or congestion, or oil related issues with your skin. Now salicylic acid is also gonna still help with the textural changes. It's gonna help lift off excess hyperpigmentation. It is the choice if you are trying to get rid of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So the pigment that is left after the acne is gone, the marks that are left behind, salicylic acid can help with alleviating that pigmentation. But really what's great about it is it can help you to not get that acne to start so you don't have a mark to deal with later. So salicylic acid is an acne prone or congested person's dream. Now the other thing about salicylic acid is that it's really great for ingrown hairs. So if you, you know, shave and you get ingrown hairs, salicylic acid can be really beneficial as a toner to help keep those kind of follicles clear so that you don't get those ingrown hairs. Great for the bikini area so that you don't end up with those clogged little follicles and ultimately the ingrown hairs, which can be terrible to deal with. Salicylic acid can totally help with that. So those are the main acids that I like. And by the way, the salicylic acid that I love and recommend, the OG is gonna be your Paula's Choice. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is kind of the OG. This has been around forever and it's really, really good. There are so many on the market now that if you love this one, you love this one, but just know that there are options. A great option is gonna be from Naturium. This is their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This one's really great because you can pick it up at Ulta now. You can also pick it up at Target. And then of course you can just get it online at Naturium. I mean, it's so easy to get and it is super affordable. And so there are so many of these different acid exfoliants on the market that it's definitely one of those things where it does not have to be expensive. The only exception is the P50. This one is pretty expensive and I haven't yet found a true dupe. The closest thing that I found is the Tarte Tingle. And other than that, you know, it's just a really difficult one to kind of replicate for some reason, at least for me. For when I've tried other things, they come close, but nothing is quite as effective as this. Otherwise though, I feel like you just don't have to spend a ton of money on this step. So it's easy, it's affordable, and it's super effective. Let me know if you use a chemical exfoliant. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments because it's such good information for everyone else. I get so many great recommendations from you. If you're still confused, you're not sure which of the acids would be right for you, let me know what your skin, like what your main skin concerns are, and I will do my best to help you figure out which one might be the best fit for you. I mean, I'll do my best without looking at your skin. And if you have any other questions about acid exfoliants, I will certainly answer. If you are curious about how I incorporate this into my skincare routine, it's in my AM routine that is listed in this playlist. I'm breaking down every single component of my AM and my PM routine, and there will be a video on each 
in this playlist as soon as I get them all done. Anyway, I hope that you have a really fantastic day. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you start chemical exfoliating if you aren't now, because it will make a change in your skin. And in two months time, you're gonna be like, hey, my skin looks amazing. That's what we all want, right? All right, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.